Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of UI Full Stack Web Development, that is Full Stack Web Developer Codes. Today, let us go with uh, a topic HTML. And in this video, we are going to see this HTML introduction. So, what is this HTML? Let us understand. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML stands for what? Hypertext Markup Language. Okay. HTML is a standard markup language for creating web pages. What is the main use of going for HTML? Mainly to create the web pages. HTML is used to display. HTML is mainly for what? To display the static content. What do you mean by static content? No interaction from the user end. Like example, if you click on submit button, some action should get generated. Such type of events we cannot do by using HTML. It's only for presentation purpose. To display the content on your browser, we use this HTML. So HTML is used to display the static content of web page onto the browser. What makes the HTML is a HTML file is a collection of tags. What makes an HTML file? It's a collection of tags or elements. A tag contains a open tag and a closed tag. Like how the tag looks here is the syntax of tag is we go with the angular brackets and we mention the tag name. We go with the tag name and we call this one as open tag. We call it as open tag. And when we say slash tag name, when we use slash tag name, then we call it as close tag. And in between this tag, we go with the content. Based on the tag, the content will be presented on the browser screen. Like example, if you use B tag and say welcome slash b then what is going to happen welcome is presented as bold on browser screen so how welcome is presented on browser screen as bold b indicates bold like that just learning the tags completes our html now now when we are writing the html file we want to elaborate more about our html file we want to elaborate the code what we are writing in order to elaborate, we make use of comments. Comments in HTML. What is the main use of comments? Comments are used to document a program. It's mainly for document the program and not displayed, not displayed the content on browser. So whatever we write in comment, that won't get displayed on the browser. Like example. How to go with comment is exclamation hyphen hyphen and we can go with our own comment this is our first html program like this anything whatever we want you can write over here more elaborate of your code we can do by using comments and how to go with comments less than symbol exclamation hyphen hyphen go with your own comment and end with again hyphen hyphen greater than symbol now, how to go with this HTML? How the HTML file looks? Structure of a HTML file. How the HTML file looks is first, initially, we go with the doc type here. Doc type HTML. We are just indicating that to the browser the version of your HTML document. The version of HTML document. Then it goes with HTML. This we call it as the root tag and slash HTML. And this in this HTML, it goes with the two sub tags. One is head tag, and one more is body tag. This is how a HTML file looks. In this one, what is this doc type? It's mainly for declaration. It's it's we call it as declaration defines defines that the document is an 
HTML5 document. To represent that, it's a HTML5 version document. We make use of this doc type HTML. And what is this HTML? It is the root tag. Root tag of HTML5. In head section, in head section, is mainly contains contains meta information meta information about html page so what is this meta information i don't want to confuse now we'll discuss it later like one of the example of meta information is like one of the example of meta information is like title so we go with the title tag the use of title is to display the title display the title for the browser window the browser window in the body section we go with the content of web page the content of web page the content whatever you want to display for your web page we do it in the body type now where to write this html code where we have to type this so we can type the html code in any text editors in any text editors like we can use notepad notepad plus plus edit plus text edit and we can even go with like eclipse intellij any ideas sublime text then visual studio code even this we call VS code. This is study code, even we call it as VS code. And this is most recommended. This is most recommended by many of the developers. Visual Studio code. Now, in today's class, let us just use only simple text editor like Notepad. And in the next videos, I'll be showing how to download this Visual Studio code and how to write the HTML code in visual studio code that also we'll discuss in the next videos today let us go with only simple text editor notepad so just to open any notepad here you can open a notepad then start writing the code so what is the first one doc type html then we go with html tag HTML and we go with head section and the red section we go with the title tag to go with the title for your browser I'm just saying welcome then under this HTML we go with the body tag in between this body tag we go with the content of a page like example welcome to HTML now save this file save this file I want to save this file on our desktop and let me create a new folder HTML. I'm creating a new folder HTML programs. In this HTML programs, let me save the file as welcome.html. The extension what we give for HTML file is .html or .htm. Now save the file. Now we have to open this file in browser. So what you do, you go to the desktop where we have created this HTML programs. And here you can see welcome file created. If you double click on this file, it's going to open in the browser and see the title. The title see here, welcome. And the content of web page see here, welcome to HTML. So whatever the content we write in body tag that will get displayed on the browser. And this is your title, title for your browser window. Let us go back to the program and let us add some more content like we'll say hello to all. Now, once we save this, since the file is already opened in the browser, just we can refresh this file and see we are getting see hello to all. Now we want to add, I want to display this hello to all in the next line. We want to display this hello to all in the next line. Then to break the line, we use the tag br. How many brs we write? 
that many line gaps we get and to draw one horizontal line we use the tag hr now save the file come back to this browser and if, if you refresh see we are getting see three line gaps and we are getting see hello to all and it's drawing one horizontal line right so this is our first html program and what tags we have seen here in the program br tag use it to break the line new line and hr tag use it to draw a horizontal line use it to draw a horizontal line right so we'll be learning some more new tags in the next videos so that's about in this video a small introduction about html in the next video we'll be seeing how to download this visual studio code and how to write the html files in visual studio code and how to open that file in the browser right please subscribe like and share thank you